Hey, what's up guys? It's Liam Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. We have had some crazy announcements from Blizzard already with the new hero. And we've actually got some hands on with that. And we'll make another video talking about the different gameplay implications and how this hero plays and how all of the abilities work as well. But for this video, there's some map stuff and some crazy announcements that the new map Blizzard World that is looking to be coming out in the new year is going to include new base skins for the game. So they're just going to be put into the game, no event, and you can get them either through playing the game or through getting normal loot boxes. So no event skin there is going to be all base stuff in the game, which I know people are absolutely just desperate for. And the thing is, they have actually shown what at least some of them are, and I think there's even some emotes in here as well so you'll have to tell me if you notice anything that seems different to normal so the first one to talk about is this crazy immortal orissa skin she looks absolutely insane in the gold and all of these are from other blizzard games as far as i know all kinds of different things so any you recognize let us know in the comment section down below we've got the very nice torbjorn skin there of course we have an amazing Widowmaker skin where she's actually playing the part of herself when she was not blue. This is the Nova Widowmaker. There's an insane Doomfist skin as well. The Barbarian Zarya is just absolutely awesome. It's really good that she's getting some cool skins. I think my favorite and most people's favorite though is the Butcher Roadhog, which is intense, if that's to say the least. We've got Reinhardt finally in, with his long flowing blonde locks as well. This is of course because of the new animated short that came out. We've also got the May one that will be coming out that was in her animated short, the prototype May, which is incredibly cute as I'm sure everybody can agree. So these are the heroes we're going to be getting. Now I looked back through these multiple times and I thought there was new emotes but they weren't shown here if there are any. It looks like we're getting all of these new skins. Let me know what ones you recognize, what ones you absolutely love. There's so many different themed ones here. I'd love to hear your opinions on them. And again, we should be getting these early next year with the map. That's what it seems like what's going on. So moving on, there's also been more talk about the new map. And of course, there is even a crazy like map that they've created. Obviously, you don't get to run through all of this. But there's some really nice screens here. And I've also played the map. The map play is interesting because I've played it with so many people playing the new hero Moira. The map is a very kind of wide open, super flanky map most of the way through. And I don't feel that way about many maps in the game. Now, with the nature of how these capture point and then payload maps work, they're always going to play fairly similar. You've always got that really tough choke or a really hard situation to get through for the first point. And then usually in matchmaking, you can roll the point out from there with the payload. This one I'm not sure about. If you think the final section of Junker Town, it's a little bit like that, but that's section two of this map. And then section three, almost like it looks like it's got the Eichenwald vibe. It's actually the Diablo part of the map. And again, not necessarily a traditional way that we see these maps designed. Now, of course, we're going to need to do extensive testing before we know how this plays. But the map is awesome. Apparently, there's loads of lore to find out. So anything else I learn, I will share it with you guys. Let me know what your favorite skin and everything from what this was. Just It's been a crazy day, guys. We're going to make some more videos. We've got an interview with Jeff Kaplan coming soon. So if you're enjoying this stuff, be sure to drop a like as it really does help us out. And make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live. We're doing a meetup, as far as I know, tomorrow at midday at the Razor Booth if you are at BlizzCon. So we'll see you there. Make sure you follow us on Twitter for that. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.